Hello friends welcome in today's Red Online School Education program for Red Talent Search exam Today's subject General Science Chapter 2 Plants Structure and Function Different parts of plant Students you know root stem leaves flowers and fruits etc are different parts of plants you can observe all these parts in this diagram observe carefully root stem flower fruit and leaves formation of root you can observe a sprouted seed in this diagram there are two parts to this sprouted seed plumule and radical radical the part that grows from inside the seed towards the soil is called the radical plumule the part that grows above the soil is called the plumule types of roots there are two types of roots tap root and fibrous root tap root roots of some plants produce secondary roots that grow obliquely and spread far and wide in the soil this type of root is called tap root fibrous root thread like or fiber like roots arising from the stem are called fibrous roots you can observe tap root and fibrous roots in this diagram in tap root there is a primary root and secondary root branches from a tap root dicotyledonous plants have tap root for example mango pea groundnut tamarind etc show tap root fibrous root monocotyledonous plants have fibrous root for example wheat sorghum or jowar onion maize etc show fibrous root parts of root observe this diagram you can see different parts of root like primary root secondary root root hair root cap and root tip we are going to see about them root hair roots bear hair like processes near the root tips these are root hairs root cap the tip is covered by cap like structure to protect delicate root tip it is called root cap adventitious roots some roots grow from the stem just above the soil these are called adventitious roots for example maize sugarcane and sorghum have two types of roots underground roots and adventitious roots to give extra support to the plant you can observe adventitious roots of a maize stalk in this diagram modified roots there are some types of modified roots and they perform specific functions first aerial roots absorption of moisture from air second still roots function support the plant above the soil third runners function vegetative reproduction fourth breathing roots function breathing prop roots prop roots are seen in banyan tree these roots arise from branches and they grow towards the soil once reaching the soil they support the canopy of huge tree you can see prop roots of a banyan tree in this diagram now we are going to see different functions of roots first function holding and anchoring the soil firmly second absorption of water and minerals third to support the plant 
Next part of the plant is stem. Observe the diagram. You can see different parts of a stem. Bud, nodes, internode are different parts of a stem. Stem grows above the soil from plumule, which is produced by a sprouting seed. Length of stem increases as sprout grows. Nodes, the points from where the leaves come out are known as nodes. Internode, part of the stem between two nodes is called internode. Bud, the tip or apical end of the stem is known as bud. Next part of plant is leaf. We can see different parts of leaf in this diagram. Parts of leaf are leaf apex, leaf margin, veins, mid vein, leaf blade, petiole, stipule and leaf base. Leaf apex. Tip of the leaf is called leaf apex. Types of leaf apex are tapering, pointed or rounded. You can observe such type of leaf apex in some plants around you. Leaf blade or lamina, the broad spread out part of the leaf is called leaf blade or lamina. Leaf margin, the edge of the leaf is known as leaf margin. We can see different types of leaf margins in different types of plants. Different types of leaf margins are entire, dentate or lobed. Petiole. The stalk of the leaf is called petiole. Some leaves have petioles where some do not have petiole. Leaf base. The portion of the leaf attached to the stem is known as leaf base. Stipules. Small leaf-like structures near the leaf base are known as leaf stipules. Some leaves have stipules, some leaves do not have stipules. Types of leaves. There are main two types of leaves, simple leaves and compound leaves. Some plants have a single undivided leaf blade with a single midrib. Such leaves are called simple leaves. For example, leaves of people tree. Compound leaves. Leaf blade is divided into many small leaflets like in leaves of neem or tamarind tree. Arrangement of leaves. Students, we can see different types of arrangement of leaves in different plants. Some types of arrangement of leaves are alternate, decusate, opposite and fold. Types of venation in leaves. There are two types of venation in leaves. First type, reticulate venation. Reticulate venation. There is a single midvein which is in the midline of the leaf blade. This makes leaf appear to be divided into two halves. The midvein gives rise to secondary veins. Leaves of dicotyledonous plants show reticulate venation. For example, people, mogra and mango. Second type is parallel venation. You can observe parallel venation of a maize plant in this diagram. Parallel venation. The veins run parallel to each other. They start from the leaf base and end in the leaf apex. For example, leaves of monocotyledonous plants like maize and banana. Next part of the plant is flower. Observe vertical section of a hibiscus flower and its parts. Parts of flower are calyx, corolla, filament, anther, style, stigma, ovary and pedicel. 
calyx. This is the outermost wall of the flower, which is made up of sepals. It is green in color. In bud condition, petals are covered over by calyx. Corolla. This is made up of petals. Petals may be colorful or white. Shape, color, and smell of different flowers are different. Pedicel. The stalk of the flower is called pedicel. It may be long or short. Androsium. This is the male reproductive part of the flower. It consists of stamens. Each stamen is made up of anther and filament. Gynosium. This is female reproductive part of the flower. This is made up of carpels. Each carpel consists of stigma, style and ovary. Pollination. Pollen grains that released from anthers falls on the stigma of the flower. This process is called pollination. Fertilization. Due to pollination, ovules or egg cells in the ovary get fertilized. This process is called fertilization. Seeds are formed from fertilized ovules, whereas the ovary develops into a fruit. Next part of the plant is fruit. Each type of fruit has its own characteristics. There are variations in their shape, color, taste, skin or shell, fleshy part and seed etc. Types of seeds. There are two types of seeds. Monocotyledonous seeds and dicotyledonous seeds. Monocotyledonous seeds. Seeds that cannot be divided into two equal parts are called monocotyledonous seeds. For example, wheat, rice, jowar, etc. Dicotyledonous seeds. Seeds that can be divided into two equal parts are called dicotyledonous seeds. For example, seeds of mango, pea, groundnut, etc. Single seeded fruits and many seeded fruits. Single seeded fruits. Students, you know some fruits contain only a single seed. For example, fruits like mango, jamun, bear, cashew, etc. Many seeded fruits. Some fruits contain many seeds. For example, watermelon, chiku, muskmelon, pomegranate, pea, etc. Students, in this way, we have seen different parts of plants, their structure and function. Thank you.